So this is the cockpit of Vulcan XH558. It's fairly small and the view isn't fantastic. Martin, just give us a quick whip round and tell us roughly what we're looking at. Right, what you've got here is the original in-service part of the aircraft. You've got the engine instruments, because we've got four engines, four throttles down here, and we've got engines one, two, three, and four represented here with the RPM gauges, the temperature gauges, the oil pressure gauges. And so as you move the throttles, obviously expect the RPM to increase. This one will wind up and uh, away we go. This is a joystick, which will be familiar to many That's young right. gamers. And, and, yeah. and you steer and control so, this fast so, plane. With yes, this. it controls things called elevons, because it's elevators and ailerons all mixed together. So yeah. if you pull hard back, all the control surfaces at the back come up, yeah. and, uh, and then and so forth. And not the best view in the world. It's, it's pretty restricted, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's rather limited visibility, because the aircraft was designed to fly at high level, to be a bomber at the high level, and so lookout wasn't that important. And also, it was important that uh, in the nuclear strike role, that we were able to cover all these windows, both the windscreens and the side windows, to black the whole thing out so that we didn't get uh, affected by the flash from somebody else's nuclear weapon. Because you could have been blinded by that. Absolutely, yeah. They follow the news avidly, and those who would talk to us were full square behind the leadership. He says he hopes BBC News reports the parade so that the people of the world know how we celebrate this glorious day. So this is the cockpit of Vulcan XH558. It's fairly small and the view isn't fantastic. Martin, just give us a quick whip round and tell us